Arch Linux is one of the best Linux distros out there, rubbing shoulders with the likes of Ubuntu for popularity. It's also pretty lightweight, so you can install it on your Raspberry Pi without frying the circuits. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is how to install Arch Linux on your Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is a versatile credit card sized computer that can be used for a variety of electronics products. The great thing about the Raspberry Pi is that you have the option of installing different operating systems and aren't limited to Raspberry Pi OS. This includes Arch Linux, which is revered for its simplicity. Luckily, there's a version of Arch Linux designed to work with ARM processors. Let's take a look at how you can install Arch Linux on your Raspberry Pi. What you'll need. Before you get started, you'll have to have the following things. A Raspberry Pi, obviously, an eight gigabyte or more at micro SD, Arch Linux ARM, check the link in the description and scroll down the list to find the link for Raspberry Pi, a stable internet connection, computer system that can read the SD card. In this example, we will be using Linux. Prepare the SD card. First, you'll need to make a list of the storage devices attached to your machine in order to identify which one is your SD card. Do this with the following command, sudo fdisk minus L. The SD card that we're using in this case is slash dev slash SDC. First, you need to format the SD card, of course. To do this, run the following command, bearing in mind that you will need to replace dev SDC with the name of your SD card. sudo fdisk slash dev slash SDC. You will need to clear any partitions that exist on the drive. To do this, type O and hit Enter in your terminal. Enter P into your terminal and check to see if any partitions remain. If no partitions remain, then go ahead and create the boot partition by typing N, then P, followed by 1 into your terminal. P stands for primary and 1 stands for the first partition on the drive. You will need to press Enter after this sequence to continue. When prompted about the last sector, type plus 100M and hit Enter. Enter T into the command prompt, followed by C to set the first partition as type W95 FAT32 brackets LBA. Type N followed by P for primary and then 2 in order to create the root partition. Hit Enter twice in order to accept the default settings for the first and last sectors. Write the partition table and exit FDisk by entering W. We need to mount the FAT and EXT4 file systems. To list those partitions, type the following sudo fdisk dash l. Your SD card will show up and you'll be able to see the partitions. In this case, the partitions are dev sdb1 and dev sdb2. Copy Arch Linux files to SD card. The boot and root partitions need to be mounted next. Do this with the following series of commands. Remember to replace the partition names in these commands with your partition names. sudo mkfs dot vfat slash dev slash sdb1 sudo make directory boot sudo mount slash dev slash sdb1 boot sudo mkfs dot ext4 slash dev slash sdb2 sudo make directory root sudo mount slash dev slash sdb2 root now place the Arch Linux file that you downloaded into your home folder and extract it to the root folder of your SD card with the following command. The boot files will need to be moved to the boot partition of your SD card with the following command. sudo mv root slash boot slash star boot. You can unmount the two partitions with unmount boot and root. Insert the SD card into your Raspberry Pi. Initial setup on Raspberry Pi. After inserting the SD card into your Raspberry Pi, go ahead and fire it up. You will need to either connect to the internet via an Ethernet cable or a Wi-Fi network. To connect via Wi-Fi, first log in with the default root account. The username for this account is root and the password is root. Now run the following command, Wi-Fi dash menu. A menu will load and you'll be able to select your Wi-Fi network and log in. Now finalize the installation process by initializing the Pac-Man keyring and populating the Arch Linux ARM package signing keys with the following Pac-Man dash key dash dash init and Pac-Man dash key dash dash populate Arch Linux ARM. You can now go ahead and update the system packages with Pac-Man dash capital S Y U. In order to give sudo privilege to your user account, you'll have to run the following to install the sudo package Pac-Man capital S sudo. 
Now that you have installed Arch Linux on the Raspberry Pi, there are plenty of things to do, including installing and playing Minecraft and turning it into a NAS or Plex server. Your imagination is the limit. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.